Hi, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Bioinformatics Minor Graduation Celebration. I'm Samantha Andrews, and I'm the Student Programs Manager for the Department of Computational Medicine. I'm the one who's been emailing you all. Um, I just want to briefly offer my congratulations. You should all be very proud of yourselves and your accomplishments over the past few years. I will now ask Professor Eleazar Eskin to officially open our ceremony. I want to say welcome to the graduates of uh, class of 2021. This will definitely be a memorable year. Um, I would say something like, it's great to see your faces, except for none of you have your video on, so I can't see any of you, of course. But um, I do want to say a few words about bioinformatics. I'm very proud of your accomplishments. And because of a specific reason, the bioinformatics minor is hard. Um, I know because all of us instructors in it, I take a lot of uh, pride in having the classes be at the level of the majors that you take. So for example, um, the classes you take in computer science are at the level of the computer science majors, the classes you take in biology at the level of biology majors, the classes you take in stats at the level of stats majors. So in some ways you have to be at the level of many different majors um, in this minor. And the minor is also completely optional. None of you have to take it. You all would have graduated if you didn't complete the minor. And in our society these days, it feels like it's rare when people offer to do extra work that's challenging, where you could potentially get bad grades and you have to do a lot of work when you don't have to do it. And I think it really says a lot about you as graduates uh, that you're willing to take on this challenge and I'm very confident that the skills you learn will really benefit your career. I know many of you learn how to program in order to take the minor. I know many of you learn biology in order to take the minor. Um, and I know many of you learn statistics. And I, these are, this is the basis of data science. And many of you are, who are going on to grad school will have great preparation compared to other students. And many of you that are going on to industry will have learned the basics of their careers um, in this program. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Eliezer. Now we will hear a few words from additional faculty. Professor Sri Ram Sankara Raman will start. Hi, everyone. Um, Firstly, I'd like to thank, uh, I'd like to congratulate everyone um, on your accomplishments on getting through this uh, challenging minor and uh, uh, and this challenging year. Um, but as uh, Elias has said, these skills that you've acquired uh, in this minor are going to keep you in, in, in a great position, whether you're going to academia or industry. And it's a, it's a great time to be doing bioinformatics. Um, this is a field that has real world impact and it's intellectually challenging. And uh, I'm looking forward to all the things that you'll achieve um, as you go ahead with your careers. So once again, congratulations. Thank you, Sriram. Next up, we have Professor Jason Ernst. Um, I'd also like to offer my congratulations to um, everyone. Uh, for completing the uh, bioinformatics minor. Um, and as Sriram said, um, I mean, bioinformatics is provides you the skill set to address a lot of um, problems that are going to be quite important um, to biomedical research and uh, biological research uh, more broadly. Um, so it sort of biology is, you know, over the past um decade or two decades has sort of gone over um gone through this transformation from like a small scale data um discipline to um a discipline where there the data is abundant and now um i mean sort of there's a variety of different high throughput experimental um assays that continue to be developed and then um, the field sort of trending also to start integrating more with um, like health systems as well. It opens up even more um, opportunities to have uh, sort of real world impact. 
Um, and then, I mean, the skills you've gained either from the biological side or the uh, computational statistical side will have um, sort of position you well, uh, no matter what um, problems you tackle in the future. Um, so congratulations again. Thank you, Jason. Next, we will hear from Professor Bogdan Pasaniak. Bogdan? Thank you. Um, as my previous speaker mentioned, let me also start by congratulating all of you. Um, this is really quite an accomplishment given the last year and a half now. Um, us faculty are extremely excited to see where your paths may take you, either industry or academia. And we really hope that some of you may want or may choose to continue our training to obtain an advanced degree, a doctorate degree in bioinformatics. And um, on a totally unrelated note, UCLA has one of the top programs in the country in bioinformatics, PhD program. And furthermore, you guys have taken most of its core classes as part of the minor. Uh, so I'll stop here by congratulating you again. And uh, we look forward to see where your uh, future accomplishments may be, industry or academia. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, next, we have Professor Iran Halperin. Hi, thank you. Um, so congratulations, everyone, for uh, getting to this point. Um, it's uh, like everyone before me said, it's not it's not a, you didn't take the easy path when you, when you chose the bioinformatics path. Uh, and I think just to give you a little bit of perspective <clears throat> of how this field has become, if you think about it, basically 20, 30 years ago, there was no bioinformatics really. I mean, there was, there was biology, there was computer science, there was math, um, statistics, but what you, what you, um, what you have studied is basically a combination of all of this. Um, and if you think even, Kind of a longer perspective. Uh, if you take a scientist from a few hundred years ago, uh, Newton, Mendel, Darwin, they, none of them was just one thing. They were all biologists and mathematicians and geologists and uh, something else. And then at some point in the 20th, 19th, 20th century, everything basically became very specific. So you, you either became a mathematician or a physicist or a biologist. And uh, we're kind of, in the last 20, 30 years, we're trying to unite all of these things. And there's a, a huge power in this. If you think about it, uh, uh, what, you, what you learned in terms of the biology, you have all this biological knowledge that gives you intuition about, about life, about um, life processes. Uh, you have all the mathematical foundation that basically takes the, um, takes the intuition and formalizes it as, as, a, uh, as a formula, as a mat mat mathematical formula. And then you have the computer science, the programming, uh, which basically uh, helps you to implement this, uh, this formalism. So the combination of the three is something that not many people have. Uh, so people that just take one discipline usually just have one of these. Uh, and you, you have all, all three, essentially. So uh, this is something that I'm hoping you could take to uh, uh, your next uh, steps, uh, whether it's the industry or academia research. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be useful for you, even if you choose not to do uh, anything related to bioinformatics, but something related to other fields that in data science or, or in engineering or sciences. Uh, so congratulations everyone again, and uh, uh, hopefully you'll stay in touch with us. Thank you. Finally, we have Professor Harold Pimentel. Harold? Hi there. Uh, firstly, uh, congratulations. You know, it's really exciting to see some of you uh, uh, again after like almost a year from big summer. Um, but, uh, the, uh, you know, one, one thing, um, I, I guess a lot of you probably don't know me. I'm relatively new faculty. I haven't even been here a year, but um, and I haven't taught any of you Right. But uh, it's kind of crazy, actually, that um, so I actually have interacted with so many of you through a number of different channels. Um, and I think one of the things that's been most impressive to me um, coming to UCLA as, as a new faculty is, is how ambitious all of you are. Right. And um, whether or not you decide to go continue in, in bioinformatics, um, I hope that we've at least shown you how to have fun in, uh, in research and in, in um, 
and in uh, math and computer science and bioinformatics and, and all these sort of uh, fields, and that you continue to have fun with whatever you decide to do. Um, and uh, I guess one last plug is that I hope that you decide to actually continue in bioinformatics and, uh, you know, continue to look us up and, uh, you know, continue maybe in your graduate work here or uh, in your postdoc and uh, or maybe even as faculty. So um, hope to see you all again soon. Please, please do keep in touch. And again, congratulations. Uh, it's been a crazy year and uh, you should definitely celebrate. Hope you're vaccinated and can go out to have a nice dinner this weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. Next, we'll hear from our commencement speaker, Shana Stein. Shana Stein, PhD, is a computational biologist at Ceros Pharmaceuticals Incorporated in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where she works on early drug discovery projects. Shana is a 2015 UCLA graduate with a bachelor's degree in mathematics of computation. While at UCLA, Shana worked with Professor Yi Xing to develop a bioinformatics pipeline that identifies hidden splice sites by mapping personal transcripts to personal genomes. Shana also worked in Dr. Eskin's lab on a bioinformatics project to identify pairwise interactions between single nucleotide variants. Shana, you can go ahead and start now. Uh, thank you, Samantha, for that wonderful introduction, and thank you, Dr. Eskin, for inviting me to speak today. It is truly an honor to address the UCLA undergraduate class of 2021 bioinformatics minors. Um, congratulations on your accomplishments. Um, it strikes me, I am also the class of 2021, having just finished my PhD a couple months ago, and I want you to know that I empathize with the difficulties and challenges each of you may have faced while finishing up your degree during the COVID-19 pandemic. I begin with highlights of how my own bioinformatics training at UCLA prepared me very well for the rigors of graduate education. One fond memory is the class competition Professor Eskin set up for a genome alignment algorithm homework assignment. Probably similar to something a lot of you have done if that class is still being taught. Um, this assignment spurred my competitive spirit. I spent considerable time making small improvements so that my algorithm would perform at the top of the class. I didn't realize how much I learned at the time, but when I look back, I realized that being pushed to improve my algorithm as much as I could gave me a deeper understanding of how alignment algorithms and bioinformatics methods in general actually work under the surface. This rigorous foundation enabled me to hit the ground running in graduate school with my own independent research. I encourage you, members of the 2021 graduating class of bioinformatics minors, to define and recognize the rigor and small incremental steps that may be important to reaching your next goals. My practical experience in bioinformatics in the laboratories of Drs. Yi Xing and Eliezer Eskin complemented my academic coursework and served as a springboard to build upon during graduate school. Graduates, I must admit, it was not until I got to Harvard that I realized what an excellent education and background I had in bioinformatics. For example, the focus on understanding nuances of methods, such as what was required for the homework competition, continues to be particularly relevant for my chosen career as a computational scientist in the pharmaceutical industry. Graduates, you may each wonder and ask yourself the question, what can I actually do with my bioinformatics degree? Well, you've heard from a few of your professors who I think gave you lots of insight on, into that, um, but I'm gonna talk further about that. In the past, data generation could often be the blockade to completing a project and more and more experiments could be needed. However, these days, generating data can often be much easier than figuring out how to analyze the data and what it means. Elucidating the biological implications of mountains and mountains of high throughput data can be extremely difficult. Today, more than ever before, the progress of science increasingly relies on bioinformatics tools, both those already implemented and those remaining to be developed by people like you, because you are now uh, bioinformaticians. You use and develop computational tools to collect and analyze data. And importantly, you connect data from different sources, sequencing data, electronic health records, in order to gain a deeper understanding of biology and to drive new hypotheses. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic. The SARS-CoV-2 genome was sequenced within weeks of discovering the virus. 
bioinformatics analysis was essential not only for assigning meaning to the sequences, but also for identifying the mechanisms and sequences underlying SARS-CoV-2 entry into the cell and facilitating successful vaccine development in record time. Likewise, bioinformatics is playing a key role in discovering and understanding the significance of the virus variants. However, there is still much work to be done. More than a year and a half after the SARS-CoV-2 sequence was reported, the origins of the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic are still not fully elucidated. Where did the first infections in humans come from? Are there other viruses that may spill over into humans in the near future that we can be prepared for? What have we learned from this pandemic that can inform us about preventing future pandemics? Newly minted bioinformaticians, there's still much work to be done. Regardless of what your next step is, a full-time job or additional education, your minor in bioinformatics is like a pair of wings ready to unfold and integrate with the skills learned during your majors. I encourage you to follow your passion, spread your wings, even if the payoffs may not be obvious or in sight. My experience at UCLA resulted in a strong foundation in mathematics, computational biology, and bioinformatics. After I graduated, I set my sights on a PhD in biostatistics with a concentration in bioinformatics. My dissertation research was entirely computational, as most biostatistics graduate students' research is. However, two years into my PhD, I realized that I needed to go beyond analyzing other people's data and joined a wet lab to generate my own data. I became the mouse whisperer of the biostatistics department. Day in and day out, long hours into the night, I tended to my own wet lab experiments and soon had some of my own data to analyze. This path had its fair share of struggles, but I gained great satisfaction and a deeper understanding as to how medical and biological data is actually generated. You may be surprised that none of this two and a half years work actually ended up in my dissertation, yet it was key to my knowledge and skill basket. To some, it seemed like a waste of time, and I constantly got asked the question of why I was there. But as my mom always said, we don't leave our education behind, even if it seems irrelevant at the time in our current position. Instead, we carry our education with us and apply it to understanding and solving new problems with our own unique perspective. And this experience with my beloved mouse colony, while perhaps a circuitous detour, was part of my education. While I didn't seek a laboratory bench job after graduate school, I've traveled down that path and that experience made me better at my current job because it gives me a different perspective than I would have had otherwise. For example, my job involves analyzing data generated from laboratory experiments and using the analysis to generate new hypotheses and propose follow-up experiments. I collaborate closely with wet lab biologists to ensure that their experiments are set up well for downstream analysis and that my analysis is useful for planning additional experiments. If I had never, never done any of these laboratory experiments, my perspective of what it takes to generate the data could be severely limited. With a PhD degree in biostatistics and without my wet lab experiment, experience, it would have been easy to take an idealized approach and wonder why there aren't more replicates or why the data is so noisy. However, Having walked down the path of experimental biology, I realized that noisy data and limited replicates are a reality. Understanding these sources of variability and appropriate controls, off-target effects, et cetera, has improved my own ability to conduct biologically relevant analyses. As you start on your next steps, follow your curiosity. There's no right path. There's only the path that's right for you. Every experience you have, whether it seems relevant to the present or not, contributes to your perspective and gives you something unique to bring to the table, particularly in a field that draws from so many different disciplines, statistics, biology, mathematics, computer science. I encourage you to think about how your own unique experience can contribute to solving difficult biological problems. In my case, my background helps me to bridge the gap between the experimental and the computational. Your unique background will give you a different perspective on approaches to solving bioinformatics problems. Recognize that you may not have thought of the job that you want or will eventually have. The field of bioinformatics is relatively new and the field is changing so quickly. 
In fact, the job you eventually might have may not even exist yet. Especially as more and more kinds of data are gener generated, we don't even know what future problems we might even need to or be able to solve. As you put skill sets and experiences in your pocket, remember that even if you are not utilizing them at this moment, they are there for you and integrated into the very fabric of who you are. Any of these skills are there for your reference and can be called upon at a moment's notice. You may never know when, but in general, no talent, no knowledge, no skill goes unused in today's fast paced moving world. Thank you again. It has truly been an honor to address you, the 2021 graduating class of bioinformatics minors. Congratulations on your accomplishments, and I wish you all the best on your upcoming journey. Thank you so much, Shana. Thank you. Now we will hear from a few students about the bioinformatics minor, their experiences, and their future plans. Um, and if any additional students would like to say something after, please let me know uh, by using the chat function. Next, we have Mingtha Lee. Mingtha? Yeah, hi. It is my pleasure to speak on our ceremony. Why I did bioinformatics minor, I totally had no idea it can be such in train. However, it is a wonderful experience to study bioinfo at UCLA. We have such well-designed courses and distinguished professors, which lead students to delve into the bioinformatics field. Without this kind of help, I cannot realize my interest. Without my bioinformatics research experience, I cannot get in my dream master program. And I want to say thank you, bioinformatics program. And finally, congratulations, class of 2021. We have been through all of this, and I wish you all the happiness and all the luck in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Michael Chang. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you all for your congratulations. Um, I, I've been very grateful for uh, this opportunity to study at UCLA. And um, I didn't know that I would be interested in bioinformatics and even uh, graduate with this minor. Um, I started out as a life science major, um, I still am, but um, my interest grew after taking a, a, a life science math class um, with like a coding portion. Um, I started uh, exploring co coding classes out of curiosity and that brought me to uh, the bioinformatics seminar class, CS184, um, where I learned about um, a bunch of faculty's research, um, which really interested me. Um, that encouraged me to check out different labs at UCLA. And I've hopped around three just to uh, experience uh, different cultures and different uh, different facets and sides of bioinformatics research, I think, which has been very, very influential. Um, I've been in Dr. Owen Witte's lab. Um, I've been in Sri Ram's lab, um, Dr. Collar's lab as well. Um, and they've all granted me um, yeah, wonderful opportunities and valuable uh, lessons in, in uh, uh, understanding where I want to what I want to do as a career and how um, I, I'm really passionate about bioinformatics. Um, I particularly remember um, just the yeah, big summer in, in Zuram's lab and the wonderful mentorship he's given me and um, also um, a postdoc in the lab, uh, Rob Brown. Um, in terms of classes, I remember taking um, uh, CS122 particularly because of the uh, challenging um, coding projects like the genome alignment and uh, isoform quantification projects. Um, they, they were really influential and just um, telling me like just a desire to to solve these problems with with um, with algorithms. So um, yeah, I, I hope to be doing that more in the future. I'm actually coming to UCLA in the fall for uh, bioinformatics PhD, and so I'm very very excited and I'm very. Um, yeah, optimistic in, in um, just the lessons that, that I will learn and the classes and um, I'll take and hopefully um, receive mentorship from um, the faculty here even more. So thank you all. Thank you. Next we have Zitian Wang. Hi everyone, my name is Zitian Wang. First, congrats to the final class of 2021 for graduation. We made it. I wanted to take this opportunity to speak a few words about my experiences and appreciation about the bioinformatics minor. I began as a biochem major when I started 
at UCLA. I still remember when I was just taking uh, Life Science 7B, the professor was proficient in both biology and computer science. I thought that was like very cool. So I decided to take the bioinformatics minor at UCLA. And this is the, one of the most correct decisions I have ever made. The bioinformatics curriculum is so wide that I, that I got to take a lot of classes, mathematics, statistics, and computer science and biology. Um, my most memorable class was CSCM121 that I took last fall with Dr. Jae Hong Su. I got to know some for genetic sequencing from that class and with hands-on project for implementing the algorithm we learned, I felt my overall computational skills also improved. I hope to be doing more about genetics in my future study. And again, thank you so much to everyone at the department. Thank you. Next, we have Sarah Esparza. Hi, first I wanted to say thank you all for hosting this ceremony and um, I'm very grateful for the bioinformatics undergraduate uh, minor program. I don't remember exactly where I first heard about it, but um, I'm very glad that I decided to join it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a bioengineering major and I'm doing it, I did a tech breath in computer science. And so by doing the bioinformatics minor, I was able to um, supplement this tech breath area and get more into programming. Um, and I don't know yet exactly what I want to do. Um, eventually I do plan to pursue higher education, but in the meantime, I'm just looking for a job. And I feel like even though I don't know exactly where I'm headed, um, this program has definitely taught me a lot of valuable skills, including um, attention to detail and different things, even outside of just like bioinformatics. Um, so I'm very appreciative of that and very excited. Thank you. And next we have Brian Jung. Uh, hi, Samantha, thanks for calling me. Um, along with uh, minoring in bioinformatics, I majored in uh, microbiology, immunology, and molecular genetics. Um, I joined the bioinformatics minor right at the end of my second year, so halfway into my undergrad, uh, but it was for sure like the best uh, decision about my academics I've ever made. Um, I had an encouragement to join from my freshman roommate and, uh, and close friend of mine, as well as a former faculty uh, and residence member, Dr. Shri Kasuri of uh, UCLA's uh, chemistry and biochemistry department, um, who inspired me to uh, pursue integrating computer science um, studies with, uh, with biology. Um, what attracted me about the bioinformatics minor was that um, it allows students like me with their primary field of study being in a non-computer science field uh, to be able to explore computer science and, and see its applications within biology, um, like all without the pressure of having to dedicate like upfront, like their whole uh, major to be like computer science or computation related. Um, uh, I want to thank uh, Zar and uh, Jae Hoon for, uh, from the courses I took um, and their TAs uh, for their support and incredible patience with me um, and uh, other students uh, like me who had their share of struggles during the learning process. Um, but I also really want to thank the bioinformatics department um, and the wonderful faculty, um, like uh, overall, for uh, for making this program exist and making uh, like math and computer science uh, re relevant to biology for me. Um, what's next for me is uh, I'll work for at least a year um, in molecular biology before attending a graduate school. Um, but this major has given me um, an invaluable skill set that uh, they'll certainly be useful for me as I continue my career in molecular biology. Um, so uh, thank you all so much for making my undergraduate experience at UCLA complete. It makes me feel proud to say that I had this experience and I really hope that this minor continues to inspire other students in the future. Thanks. Thank you. And next we have Ewen Chen. Um, hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Yuan Chen. I'm a student in the class of 2021 with a major in statistics and a minor in bioinformatics. So I feel very honored that Samantha invited me to talk about my minor experiences. So when I was a freshman, I was interested in genetics, and I found that nowadays many useful information can be extracted through uh, genetics data. 
and I found this uh, bioinformatics minor online. I took a CS 124 with Professor Halpern and CS 122 with Professor Askin. Although I struggled a lot with the coding projects, I found both classes to be very interesting. And during the BIG summer last year, I was really lucky to be involved in a small project in Professor Harold Pimentel's group. Sometimes Harold would uh, also invite us to meet with people in Professor Bogdan's lab where I found PhD students can be really, really cool. And for my master's studies, I would go to uh, University of Michigan this fall and study biostatistics and hope to transit to a PhD program in statistical genetics. And I think my experience within the minor has prepared me with some important fundamental knowledge and some uh, important coding skills. And I feel very lucky to get to know the professors and students in the minor who are really nice to me and have pro provided me many uh, important guidance and help so I would like to ex express my gratitude to all of you. Thank you very much. And I really hope that we could keep in touch in the future. And I really hope that one day I can see you guys all again in person. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen here. Here we go. Um, so now I will read the names of the graduates as I present their certificates on my screen. Um, and I will also be sending these out via email after the ceremony. R.P. Beshlikian. Yuan Cheng. Michael Cheng. Anwishan Das, Sarah Esparza, Wanyi Guo, Brian Jiang, Patil Kaptanian, Naryang Kim, Nuri Kim, Jason Lung, Mingtha Lee, Junyu Ma, Min An Nguyen, Kiara Alyssa Rivera, Chaeyoung So, Zhou Ting Tan, Wendy Tran, Zitian Wang, and Lingxuan Zhai. Okay, congratulations everyone. And thank you all for being part of this ceremony. Um, Professor Eskin will now say a few words in closing. I want to congratulate you again and thank you for the very kind words uh, about the program. And please do stay in touch. Uh, please come visit us. Um, you know, Keith sent us, uh, it's it really, even though uh, you don't think necessarily realize it, but it, one of the best things, I, I one of the best experiences of my career is when I hear from old students who like tell me where they are, the new job they got, how, you know, some, something that in their job reminded them of something that they learned an assignment. Uh, that's really a great feeling. And I speak not just for myself, but for the other instructors in the program. So please send us those news. Uh, we would love to hear. It. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you.